human beings don't by na nature share and what clients want is our 9,000 people to share all their experience and their knowledge and what AI will do is flatten organizations, horizontalize them and reduce political friction. So that, that's going to be hugely important. It was interesting, we did a presentation to a bunch of institutional investors and they said we were the only company here, they went to all the holding companies, we were the only company here that talked about the disruption that AI will bring, acknowledging the disruption and saying we're going to try and develop our approaches to deal with that disruption. Search will, will clearly change. Uh, and be more advertising driven. We'll have to see how that that plays out. Uh, so I think those are the changes. So hugely important. The powers that be will try and underestimate it, but Turkish don't vote for Christmas, so they will be trying to say no disruption. You know, the analyst question, you know, you've got 100 of revenue, 80 of cost, you make 20 profit. If the 80 goes to 40, who gets the 40? Well, what happens? Is it price reduction? The answer to that has been, we'll do more. I think it's more disruptive than that. And we'll, we'll, we're sorry. We, 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 we have a 9,000 people motor torpedo boat. Uh, the holding companies have 100,000 people aircraft carrier. Do you have to hire different copywriters? More copywriters from a different, you know, with a different mindset, less copywriters. What do you do on visualization? I think the Netflix model really scores. I mean, I think a lot of the things that we do around Netflix in terms of um, personalized content, content creation, um, is really, really important. It really is really interesting. So, and I think a lot of people are, are trying to get, wrap their minds around how they centralize things more. And, and take account of localization or local execution. Uh, but there's no need to do that anymore at a local level. You can do that as a central level and distribute. So, and it was interesting, you know, a couple of the presentations we did, brand managers are now focusing on how they, which content they use rather than how they produce the content. Because if you can concertina the production process, down from two weeks to two hours and produce all these assets, atomic assets. The, 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 the burden is on selecting the right assets, right? Which is the brain work, right? The mundane stuff, I mean, people don't think production is mundane, but you know, the mundane stuff gets done, the process gets done. You produce all the assets, you can produce far more. So the, the emphasis now is what do you do? What do you use? But what you're witnessing is free-to-air analog coming under pressure. So it's not as not as um, heavy as under as newspapers and magazines. I mean, I can remember there were years in the UK where ad revenues dropped for newspapers and magazines by 15 or 25 percent. It's huge. It's not at that rate, but it is secular decline. And then the other thing that was quite clear last year, you know, we did a piece of work on. TV frequency capping and reach. And I've never had a piece of work where you know, I sent it to three CMOs and they responded instantly. I've never seen never the response so rapid and so incisive on, you know, we're, we're fed up with repeating 15 or 30 second TV ads in breaks to the annoyance of consumers and to the annoyance of clients. And the reach is going down or let's say one big package was coming out, we're sitting next to it. When the government in the UK, when Rishi Sunak did his, you know, his business um, love fest, um, and I was sitting next to the CEO of a UK part of a big global package goods company, and I said, what's your biggest problem? And he said, I'm sick and tired of going to the free-to-air networks and being charged 20% more for less. So what you're witnessing is that. I mean, that's, that's what's happening. The market is now adjusting to a terminal rate of, in the UK of 6% or 6.25%, whatever the figure is. Um, you know, it, it looked like it was going to be more gentle in Europe and the UK. The UK being outside Europe now. 
uh, it looks like it's going to be more violent. You know, Powell said this week also that U.S. rates could. So the ter- what's it going to be the terminal rate, the rate at which things flatten out? So GDP growth is going to be lower. Inflation is going to be higher than people answer. It's not going to go to 2%. You know, if it's 8% in the UK, I mean, I think Rishi Sunak wants to get it down by 5% by the end of the year. That's going to be a test, but we'll see what he can do. Um, and then and then interest rates are going to stay higher for longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the, the probabilities of an, a recession increase, softness increase. And in fact, you know, can is always a year behind because this gets planned a year ago. So the the thinking, you know, should we be here spending all this money? Well, should we? Should we? The answer is, given what's happening now, no. Given what was happening a year ago, maybe yes.